Dear members of the Scottish Family Party, my name is Philip Tenser and I do apologize that I can't be with you today, but I'm currently in Egypt enjoying the last hours of my holiday. Um, Richard asked me to contribute to the conference and this is my way to do so. Uh, unfortunately, I had to write everything I wanted to say uh, on a script, so please apologize for not uh, looking you straight in the eye and for sounding a little bit wooden at times. So I'm probably the most unlikely supporter of the Scottish Family Party. A few words about myself. I moved to Scotland eight years ago from Germany. Before I moved here, I was working as an actor in the American gay porn industry. I was also at one point very involved in the gay fetish community and even held the title of German Mr. Leather. Yeah, that's an actual title and um, I won it at a um, competition. In my teenage years, I dressed like Marilyn Manson or Prince, depending on the day. And if I had grown up in today's society, I would have been pushed into identifying as gender fluid or non-binary. I'm pretty sure of that. Well, today I very clearly dress and behave like a man, and I strongly support the position of man in our society. I'm a so-called uh, men's rights activist. We support fathers' rights, uh, male victims of domestic and sexual abuse, and men's mental health, amongst other things. We also vehemently oppose uh, the negative influences on feminism in our, in our society, on families, and on both men and women. I also started to oppose many things the LGBT community stands for and support um, that the LGBTQ community stands for and supports and the indoctrination that is pushed on our society, especially our children. And that's exactly what I want to talk about in this video message, because who is better suited to criticize LGBTQ indoctrination than a gay porn star? ex-porn and ex-gay, actually. Uh, to clarify this, I'm still attracted to men, and I doubt that that will ever completely change, but I realized that I um, can have a loving, honest and fulfilling relationship with a woman, and nothing would make me happier than having a family formed on love, responsibility and values. I want to give you a short insight in how I experienced my journey in the gay life and how I experienced the gay community. I have been attracted to men all my life, even as a boy. I had a strong focus on men, but I do not believe in the born this way narrative that tells you that people are just born gay or born lesbians. I'm sure there are some aspects that happen in the womb or that are genetical, that increase the likelihood to have certain behaviors, attributes and preferences. But nurture and early childhood experiences surely play a huge role in how our preferences and sexuality evolves. Most gay men did not have a close and good relationship with their fathers. That might be a coincidence, but I doubt it. My focus on man as a child was very clearly influenced by the need to have a strong male figure in my life, a role my father could not fill. As a teenager, my fascination with man started to be coupled with sexual desire. I was not happy about my preference and I tried girls. To clarify that, there was absolutely nothing negative in my family or surrounding that told me I shouldn't be gay. My brother actually is gay and he came out two years prior to me having my first experiences. Um, so the fact that I didn't feel comfortable with being gay was something in me, not something that was pushed on me from the outside. So I was not happy about uh, my preference and I tried out girls. It was okay, but, I did not, but it did not leave a strong impact. I started to define myself as asexual with a tendency towards men. And that's when society really started to push me in a direction. I was constantly being told, come on, you're gay. Um, and 
that I should just come out and that I should be proud of being gay. This push came from all parts of society, not specifically gay people. Actually, I didn't know a lot of gay people. I opposed this push for a while, telling people this box does not feel right for me, that I wanted to go my own path. But even 25 years ago, society was so gay positive that I was pressured into adopting the label gay to make others happy. I started experiencing the gay scene and from the very beginning I noticed many things that made me feel very uncomfortable. Amongst them, extremely superficial behavior, fake self-expression, so people were fake feminine or fake masculine and I think we see a lot of that nowadays with the whole non-binary non and gender fluid movement. Then uncriticized drug use, extreme promiscuity, unhealthy sexuality, intolerance and peer pressure to act gay and adopt the lifestyle. Luckily I was always opposed to drugs, never smoked, didn't drink and felt not ready to engage um, sexually. That potentially saved my life. That and my values and my critical observations of the so-called community. I have to clarify that I met some very good people there um, as well, especially surprisingly later on when I was working in the porn industry. And I do think that the gay, that LGBT people um, need support structures and community to help them with their struggles, but Extreme affirmation without warning of dangers and without critical advice pushes people down a very dangerous path that can ruin their lives. Lack of critical advice, value, lack of values and moral and sensible boundaries is nothing exclusive to the LGBT community, but something our whole hyper-liberal society is suffering under. Certain risky, unhealthy and immoral behaviors are far more common in many parts of the LGBT community. These risky behaviors are actively being promoted and seldomly challenged by the community or society. We are not allowed to talk about it. Radical LGBT positivity and extreme liberty without focus on dangers and responsibility um, for yourself and society is the status quo and is being pushed by media, politicians and the educational system. There is no aspect of life where the LGBT agenda is not being forced upon us. Critical comments of any kind are being framed as hatred and homophobia. Respectful questioning uh, respectfully questioning topics like gay marriage, gay adoption, NHS-funded medication so gay people can have unprotected sex, and of course transgenderism is almost impossible in today's social climate. But what impact will this advertising of LGBT lifestyles have on our society? We see a drastic increase of transgenderism and people that define themselves as non-binary. I also noticed a dramatic increase in lesbians. It is proven that women are more fluid in their sexuality than men. Men usually identify either as gay or as straight and stick to it, where women cha can change more often from one side to the other. Do we see this increase in as lesbian identifying women because of positive depiction and indoctrination? I think it is at least highly likely. Of course, it is taken for granted that there is nothing... Oh, sorry. Of course, it is taken for granted that there is nothing bad about being LGBT. And I would agree on a personal level but statistically speaking, they are, um, they are 
at a much higher risk of mental health problems, drug addiction, suicide and STDs. And I reject the argument um, that that is all um, due to discrimination from society. I think it's much more likely a result of a toxic community and a lack of positive role models that challenge the negative aspects of the community with positive values, support and responsibility. But this is something parents and society should provide. I was pushed by a society that is not LGBT neutral but LGBT positive into a lifestyle that easily could have killed me. Yes, I take full responsibility for my actions and every decision was mine. But where was the counter narrative to all your desires are good and nothing comes with shame? I was left alone to fight myself out of a lifestyle that never fulfilled me and my soul. When I started dating women again, I was insulted, threatened and demonized by many members of the LGBT community and many people that are straight questioned my decision to open myself to women again. The reason I was demonized by the LGBTQ community was partially also because I questioned the agenda, including gay adoption, LGBT education and transgenderism. Now, where do we as a society go from here? First of all, I tell you, have compassion with people that try to find their way and that make mistakes. They need support, family and friends. Support does not mean supporting everything they want to do. Sometimes support can also come in asking difficult questions based on love and real care and a wish to understand each other. But we have to oppose the activists, the political manipulators that fight or sneak their way into schools, media and the workplace. Not everything they stand for is wrong, but a lot is definitely not right. And that needs to be publicly said and challenged. But always say it with facts, reason and compassion. Thank you so much for listening to me. Um, if you want to get in touch with me, you can do that through Richard. Um, there are a lot of topics that I would like to talk about in the future. And you can get in contact with me about that. Topics like um, the negative impact of pornography on our society and also how we... Yeah, topics like uh, gay adoption um, and the positive portrayal of LGBTQ lifestyles. If you have questions, just get in contact with me and I hope you have a wonderful... Uh, conference. Thank you so much and goodbye.